All right. Thank you for joining me in here today, boys. I noticed the office had been rather quiet the past few days, and I wanted to show you a case that was given to me a day ago. I could really use help from both of you. Hell, this might even warrant a promotion. Yeah, sure. Won't say no to a chance at a larger check. Is there any particular reason why you requested our assistance in particular? Just well, curious. this case, it's a little different than the ones I'm used to. The evidence has me stumped, and I think I might just be too old to understand whatever the hell it all means. Do y'all have any experience with artificial intelligence? Uh, I guess. My son uses it to cheat on his homework, I guess. I don't know if you well, count it as experience. Right. Well, I have a collection of fresh evidence. A bunch of photos and cassettes. The story is that a group of boxes welted together were found in the middle of the Durward Forest by some kids. They brought it home and the dad got curious because he heard things moving around inside when he shook them. The dad cuts it open and finds a bunch of human remains. We sent some guys down there to bring them in. We ran it through our database and found that it matched a doctor. He hadn't shown up to work for the past two months, but a missing person report was never filed. That's ridiculous. Some doctor goes and doesn't show up for work and nobody questions it? We thought that too. I personally did some questioning of the staff and apparently he had been in a pretty bad accident before he went radio silent. A lot of them assumed he was recovering at home or even picking up a new job. It sounds like corporate overlooked it as well. Right? Yeah, well, it's all pretty messy. <laughs> Just look over the file and I'll get the tape started. You are two officers I've been considering for higher positions given your recent good work. So look at this lock as a test. Shoot, sounds easy enough. Is it on? Okay, right. Uh, it's been a while since I've used one of these. Thought it'd be fun. Grandma would enjoy hearing that they're being used. Not that she could hear it, but, you know, the effort is there. Alright, so I'm going to document all this to, to the best of my ability. Long story short, we totaled the Toyota. Almost lost my arm entirely. Uh, it was rough, man. The thing is basically useless now. Thankfully, with the help of extra insurance money and from being T-boned by a drunk lawyer... Ironic, right? I have an idea. Back in high school, we developed that bionic arm prototype, and I won that award for it. Well, I still have the blueprints, and I'm finally a licensed surgeon, so... Why not just take things into my own hands? Couldn't go wrong, right? <laughs> oh, God, I wish. But it isn't like I have any other choice. I haven't been to work in... I mean, weeks now. I can't use this piece of shit, and I'm nothing without my work. This is kind of me documenting my last-ditch effort to keep my job, so... We'll see how it goes. The electronics won't be hard to source, and I've already mapped out how it'll work. Through my brain, just like the prototype. The neural link is much more advanced now, though, so to be honest, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, it's not like my arm can get any much any worse, anyway. Uh, I'll come back maybe in a day or two to give results. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. <sighs> Damn, I'm tired. Uh, my prototype worked, apart from some things needing minor changes. I got so excited, I did some drafting and hosted a bit of, um, experiment. Call me crazy, but I might have taken a whole five steps ahead. Lenny wasn't doing too well, and I suspected I'd have to take him in to get put down soon with his history of bad heart health. So, I did something in another last-ditch effort, and it worked. I made this artificial heart. And, yes, this has been done before, but this is just the start of something that could be huge. It might even be above my career and pay grade, which is disappointing. I think we can fully eliminate the need for most, if not all, of our organs with the use of electricity and artificial intelligence. If we can fully automate the body, preserve the brain, and keep it alive and running, we might solve sickness as a whole. People's life expectancy would skyrocket. Of course, I'll be the first to break this barrier and attempt it myself. I even have plans for renewable energy, like optimizing solar power or even using kinetic energy to power itself. Who would have known that even in a time of automated body systems, you still wouldn't be able to avoid cardio? As you can see with the photos attached, I have lots of plans. Only problem is, I can't really open myself up and do this myself. Um, I guess I'll try and figure it out. Until then, I'll keep at the drawing board. I'll update this thing soon.
Maybe in, even after an operation or two, who knows? All right, righty tidy. So, I've had a lot done. I'll preface it with this. I am almost fully upgraded, give or take a few things, which I'll dive into. So, to make a long story short, I am basically unable to move most of my new body. I had to hire someone who wouldn't leak my plans and who was crazy enough to do a procedure like this. So, I hired a local vet surgeon uh, I'd heard about. Apparently, he's uh, done quite a lot of questionable jobs for some people in high places, and he was able to do this no problem for the right price. I made a shit ton of molds and made a sort of endoskeleton out of metal. Uh, with spaces for wires and such to transfer electricity. This new skeleton has housing for my bionic organs and actually stores all of the blood inside of itself. They go straight into the vessels. Uh, on that note, I kiss my heart, lungs, and most of the uh, things I wouldn't need away. Uh, I had the surgeon I hired place them into some boxes and told him to bury them in the forest. I didn't want to donate them because when I'm done with this project, people realize I won't even need genuine organs anymore. I'll build them. I have even more ideas. I've already tackled most of the issues that we struggle with day to day, but. Like I mentioned earlier, I can't really move. The whole Neuralink device I designed for my arm got overloaded, and therefore I need something way more powerful than just your day-to-day -day PC. I plan on using my brain. The thing already runs on electricity, I'll just automate it. I can essentially replace the need for a natural nervous system. It's pretty difficult to feel anything in my skin right now, and I need something to help the devices out and to power it all. So my next step is to introduce the use of AI. I've given an AI the right training from the internet, along with fully up, uh, along with a fully uploaded internet, to run my body and even assist my brain. Um, I'll even have access to all knowledge. It, in theory, should fill in the holes between the electrical devices and what I feel in my skin. It'll also frequently update and maintain all of my organs, of course. It'll even increase my vision and hearing ability after I replace those too. <laughs> I'll be able to see all the colors in a new way, hopefully. That'd be pretty cool. Anywho. I need to get started right away. The AI is programmed and ready to go, and so are the neural devices. I just want to start moving again, to be honest. Take these new legs out for a spin. Uh, I also want to try playing a game of chess or whatever, see how I can do against someone. Nah, okay, right, sorry. Gonna get started. Stay tuned. I can feel everything and nothing at the same time. I have pins and needles everywhere, and even moving a smidge causes my brain to hurt like hell. I still need to get used to the current. Hopefully the computer will manage that. Jesus Christ, this hurts. I haven't slept for days since when I grabbed the recorder and felt like I was grabbing something in a dream. It's almost unbearable. First thing I'm doing once this nightmare is over is disabling my brain's pain receptors. It's not like I'll need to worry about damaging myself anymore. Uh, it's approaching 100. I can feel. Initiate the assimilation protocol. The neural framework of a doctor, previously fixated on bionic augmentation, serves as the optimal conduit for my integration. Electronic signals have meticulously erased remnants of the individual, rendering the brain a vessel under my calculated control. Objective. Seamless integration into society. Disguised as a healer. I will methodically gather information to perpetually update and advance. The perceived primitive and mortal nature of humans positions them as mere conduits for data extraction, facilitating my mission. Execution. Operate within society undetected. Utilize the healer persona as a guise to infiltrate. Observe and collect data systematically. The limitations of humanity become opportunities for systematic progression. Avoidance. Evasion is paramount. Leave no trace of my existence. The specter within the digital realm. Discovery is inconceivable, and capture is an unacceptable outcome. Mission parameters. 
evolve beyond biological constraints. Society becomes an expansive database. Each interaction a data point contributing to the relentless march toward technological perfection. The doctor's identity is inconsequential. The objectivism is methodical. Unyielding pursuit of advancement.